YouTubers, welcome to today's build video. We've got the iconic Renault 5. It's not quite, it's a re-release kit from Tamiya. It's not quite identical to the original. The original had very crude metal chassis, some rear wheels bolted to the back, some bit of steering on the front wheels bolted to the front, and a motor stuck to the chassis, and that was about it. A bit of radio gear and a battery, very, very basic. This is very up to date and very, very iconic. Let's bring you in and talk about what you need to build this with. Right, as you can see, tubers, you'll need the kit to start with. On top of that, you'll need a very basic tool kit. Most of this probably won't be used for this kit, just the one single screwdriver. I like to use a decent one and I like to replace it every half a dozen builds, perhaps. So it doesn't start rounding screws. To complete this kit, you will need a few spray paints. I'm going to do this box art, so I need white, black, and yellow. I can't show you the next item because I haven't got it. It's due any day, but it's the receiver to go inside. It doesn't come with a receiver. Of course, with a receiver, you need the transmitter. So that would be your radio gear sorted. Now. We'll go into the box very, very quickly. All right, lid removed. You've got your front bumper and the driver and that. That's all original, and I'm not 100% sure if the body is genuinely original or not. In terms of scale detailing, again, I believe that to be the motor. You're looking at this for the first time pretty much like I am. You've got all your suspension components here. Body mounts. Some of it obviously comes much more explanatory as you build it. The lovely wheels. The grippy tyres. This is 112 scale, just so you know. The motor, which in this case I am been in and I'm putting my own 14 turn motor in on this build. More suspension components, more drive gear, more, there's some drive gears. Uh, again, all oh, turn knuckles, probably more suspension-y type bits of fair go, I don't know, the steering knuckles, the carriers. Again, more parts to do with the chassis. I say again more, because I can already see where the next sprue is. There's your chassis. Battery obviously goes through here. This is where your engine will mount, no doubtedly, your motor and some other governs. Again, looks like a battery clamp thing going on. Comes with an ESC. I'm tempted to ditch that in terms of putting a hobby wing in on this build. So it's going to be slightly modified, this build. Your usual Tamiya destructions. A bit of spiel about radio gear. And uh, your beautiful stickers. I expect some of you, my viewers, probably remember this as a real car. Sadly, you won't see many of these on the road today, and if you do, they're no longer the turbos. Right, let's get cracking, and I'm going to start with the uh, body cutout today. Instead of the normal chassis build. Let's start that time lapse.
then guys, as you can see, the beautiful, stunning Renault 5 rally car is complete. And I should be looking at the camera. I know that that's perfectly rude of me. Uh, but I'm in awe of it. It's magnificent. I'll bring you in closer towards the end of the video. I won't bother taking the body off and all of that and showing you the chassis. Um, I will explain a little bit about the chassis. It's kind of like a... How do I word it? It's got a multiple platform. You can have it riding lower. This is set up as rally, as you can see. There's quite a gap there. I hope you can see that. Quite a gap, so you can lower the ride, how, ride height. Um, you can shorten the wheelbase as well as make it longer. So it's got multiple options there. Um, it, it's quite something, really. It's a quite a special... We'll come back and we'll talk about this chassis at another time because this is obviously about the Renault 5 itself. And again, as I've said, I'm in awe of it. I've not quite done uh, body uh, box art for it. I've gone with a little twist, mainly because I'm... <coughs> what a, well, anyway, <laughs> it's got Minty's twist on it, that's for sure. So there's a couple of subtle differences. Um, I'm really pleased with this one. The one thing I will say, um, it has been brought up on many forums and whatnot. Let's just show you. I don't know if you can see from this particular angle, but the rear wheels don't fill out the rear arches. A simple cure for that is order yourself a uh, pack or Tamiya parts 50. 737, I'll write that down below if I remember, and you get the slightly wider rear arms with that, which will push them rear wheels out where they really belong on this model. It's a fantastic kit. Putting it together, I'm going to say, I'm going to call this model a 6 out of 10 for difficulty. There's certainly a few easier kits out there to get your teeth into, and there's a lot more difficult kits to get your teeth into out there. Um, I thought I was, many a times I thought I was following the instructions to the the uh, chassis plan or the wheel length, and it bit me a couple of times. And then I think I well I thought I'd got the ride height correct at the front or the rear, and when I you know put it down like that, it was incorrect, so I had to go back a few pages. I mean, we're only human, we all make uh, mistakes along the way. When lockdown's over, I will take this out around one of our local racetracks over this way. Um, and after that, providing I don't do anything stupid, I am just gonna shelf queen it. I know, I know, you shouldn't build them if that's what you're gonna do. And some of you guys do build them to be shelf queens. Well, that's not me. It's just on this occasion, Let's bring you in, and you're, you might understand it from my point of view. Well, guys, as you can see, up close, isn't that stunning? I'll just talk you through the difference between my bodywork and the box art. Box art, as you can see, the side skirts should have been white, and the rear bumper should be, or well, the rear valance, that bumper, should have been white as well. But look... Some years ago, I nearly had the opportunity to buy a proper Renault 5. Many years ago now, I nearly had the opportunity to buy a Renault 5. And I've got a special place for them in my heart. I think they're beautiful. I woke up one day and they pretty much all disappeared from UK roads. And this is going to be the closest I get to Odin, what I expect. So, I just think it's beautiful. Especially when we get the rear wheels out where they want to be. We'll do a video on that, a separate one. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying the channel. If you are, give us a cheeky subscribe over here when it pops up. And for more of our Tamiya build videos, click somewhere over here. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching. Till next time, two bag!